our world was different. We didn't have fam family. We only had brothers or enemy enemies. We lost blood, but never did. The thing was, our world was full of dark, dark, dark. When he was in primary school, he's the most innocent and very good boy. He's, he doesn't mix with any bad friends. Even when he was five years old, like, he reads eight books a day. When he took his end level, there was a gap now. Then they will get the result. That is the time we start to go out a lot. Okay, I joined again, I would say it's 15, which is after I wear long pants. I think it's 1995. Because I couldn't really, I was very defiant. He just doesn't listen to me. And I thought I got the right friends. I mean, they were there always. Gang usually have this family culture, which is a way uh, makes me want to know them more, makes me makes them want to know my life. So there was a connection. So I was realized this is the group of people I want to be with. The teacher used to call me. He doesn't go to school three days, four days. What I did, I even took him near to the gate. And then what I would do is that once I go in, right, I just show my mom, okay, okay, I'm going in, I'm going in. Then there will be a back hole, I will just go out of the hole. So I, I begged him, I told him, please, you make it until end level. After that, I will not uh, disturb you, please. Basically, when you are in a gang already, uh, it's all about enemies. You have the police as the enemy and you have the other gangs as the enemy. Uh, you know, get out of the house, I, I must always go out with a weapon. Either it's a parang, it's an axe, it's like a wallet. Everybody must go out with a wallet. Because it was full of fear within me. Everywhere I go, I can never be in peace. Yeah. Uh, prison first time, although I was sentenced to four charges, four cases, different different places, the first of all offences that was caught for was, there was this point of time, actually, I, my friend, and my brother who was also in the same gang, we were all walking together in this car park, and then my brother just started to open a, a van. I think the, the, the one, the owner of the car was there as well, and he ended up, he Chase my brother. Then started wrecking my brother. So from far, I and my friend, who was now dead, both of us were there, and we just chased and we were fighting with the other four guys. But one of these guys, the owner and the friends, one of them took out a bottle and just smashed my friend's head. Which then pissed me off really because I, for me, if you do anything for me, it's okay, but I don't like you Mix. touch my friends. Mix. I mean, it's Mix. Of going back. Mix. So, uh, I, I had a dagger and I take it and I just plunge it. David, let's go! Let's go! will come to my house and I was really I didn't know that it was very bad you know I so said yeah they joined like that I didn't know that it was very bad all offenses were caught when the police have to come to my house so they were waiting outside my house just waiting for me to come back home and to nap me I tell you I cried like hell 
every time when the CID comes out, so I cry. Once they leave, I cry. Because I really don't know what to do. Deep down, it's all about the love, la, which I got from my friends. In fact, I even tattooed his name in memory of uh, him uh, because straight after he he, he died, la, just to show that I really love him as a friend. I ran in for four offences which I was caught off after fighting case, appealing and all this, which was charged, uh, sentenced to 32 months, but I only sat down in prison for 18 months but at the 18 months at the back of my mind there was only one thing revenge in in a club as well in Katong Mall where actually only two of us were there and for my enemies are actually uh, a big bunch of them were there around 20 30 of them We just went in and because we are the only one who had weapon and the rest didn't have. So they were all frozen now. And they were all still not moving while they were doing that. Although they were such a big game. So but we went for the hitman. <laughs> I was just 20 years old. For if I sat for another Eight years, nine years, I'm still young. If I run away, I cannot see my family anymore. So I was thinking about that. Like, family is one thing. I can't see my mom anymore. Why should I run away? I surrendered. And I was sentenced to six years uh, in prison. If, if I calculate my whole sentence together, the time I was in prison is a total of 8 years. I got even 18 strokes of the cane. And cane is not like school cane, you know. But every stroke, your skin will just fly away. And, and it will shiver. It will just shiver. The point of time I was in station, to get to court, to go to jail. All the point of time, there was only one thing in me when will i have the chance to cry because i feel so dark within me it was just i was just in the days i don't know why am i here i was thinking about my family i can't see them for a long time and all these things are yeah so i sold the house amukyo house then i think i paid nearly ten thousand for the lawyers bailing out all that then after that i said no i give up i got no more finance All these tears that was holding in my eyes. Huh? When my mom came for a visit, the first time, one week later, I was thinking, you know, talk to my mother. But when I saw her, I started to just, just bash out you know, in tears. I just cry and cry. The loneliness, the, the, the bitterness. You know, now it's just a glass panel. You can't even touch them anymore. For me, my mom, uh, she really supported me in all this and that kind of motivated me, you know. As I was in darkness, isolated, then I reflected, hey, she's actually, she's there for me in many points of time, giving her love um, when she comes to visit and all this. Those dates, uh, my vacation leaves are all, uh, I put it for that, those dates to visit him. I will not take for other things. So at the back of my mind, I was thinking I should also show it to her that I really want to change. So I also thinking I should do something for my mom. So in prison, I actually started to study and did my N levels. Uh, in fact, I scored straight ones uh, for my N levels, which was a total shock. But I'm thankful there are teachers in prison. Uh, I was in Tanamira prison. That uh, there are MOE teachers who are there to support us and teach us. I keep working, 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 and finally. 
I ended up getting uh, five distinctions out of six subjects. I was the top student in the whole prisons in 2005. I think uh, the history school date was Saturday they gave me. Because he asked for early, he wants to go for that university. So he, I think he asked for one month grace. They gave it to him. Uh, that day I went early morning. I just sat there for two to three hours, you know, because the procedures. She came out with the bag, I can tell you. Can't tell wow. the happiness uh, because we are, you know, too close. To you. At that time, you know, we can't. So uh, he really hugged me. <laughs> Sometimes I would tell him, maybe once you got married, uh, you may go away and leave us. Say no, I will be always with you, ma. Yes. I will be always with you. Don't worry. <laughs>